Are you wondering if it is really worth waiting for retatutide? Or if semaglutide or tirtsepatide are just as good right now? We finally have new head-to-head -head data comparing all three. And in this video, I will walk you through it side by side percent weight loss, muscle loss, how fast it works, and side effects no one's really talking about. By the end, you will know exactly which one might fit you best. Let us start with the big one, weight loss numbers. This is from phase two and three trials. At 36 weeks, semaglutide at two milligrams showed a 20% average weight loss. Tirtepatide at 15 milligrams hit 21%. Retatutide at a 24 milligram dose led the pack at 25%. Yes, the headlines are true retatutide seems to win on raw fat loss, but speed matters too. So let us look at the week by week breakdown. At week four, semaglutide 1.7%, and tirtepatide. 1.9% and retatutide 2.1% by week 8 semaglutide 2.8% tirtsepatide 3.2% and retatutide surged to 4.9% at week 12 semaglutide 5.2% tirtsepatide 6.2% retatutide 7.8% so if you are thinking which one melts weight the fastest? That early spike from retatutide makes it a strong contender. But fast weight loss can mean muscle loss, too. So what did the data say? At week 36, semaglutide users lost 7.5 kilograms of fat and 1.9 kilograms of lean mass. Tirsepatide lost 8.1 kilograms of fat and 2.6 kilograms of lean mass. Retatutide dropped 10.7 kilograms of fat and 3.8 kilograms of lean mass. So yes, retatutide cuts the most fat, but it also leads to the highest lean mass loss. That means you may need to prioritize strength training or protein intake if you choose that path. What about side effects? All three drugs shared the usual, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation. But how well do people tolerate them overall? Discontinuation due to side effects. Semaglutide, 2%. Tirsepatide, 3%. And retatutide, 6%. That is three times the dropout rate with retatutide compared to semaglutide. More serious side effects like pancreatitis and gallbladder inflammation were more common in the tirsepatide and retatutide groups. So, while retatutide shows big results, it may come with a bit more turbulence. Now, let us make this useful. Here is a quick guide. If you are new to weight loss meds or just want something gentle and proven, semaglutide is still a top pick. If you are diabetic or want a balance of speed and tolerability, tirsepatide may give you more lean mass preservation. If you are chasing maximum fat loss and are okay with higher side effects, or joining a clinical trial, retatutide might be worth the wait. So, should you wait? Honestly, it depends. If you are in no rush and want to skip the shortage chaos, yes, waiting could be smart. But if you are ready now, you are not missing out. People who start on semaglutide or tirsepatide often do great and can still switch later if needed. One patient I work with started on semaglutide, switched to tirsepatide mid-year and still hit 20% weight loss without ever feeling rushed. So whichever path you choose, make it one you can stick with. If this breakdown helped you think clearly, give it a like, it lets me know to keep making these drug by drug guides. And comment below, what matters most to you fast results, muscle protection, or fewer side effects? Your take might help someone else. You have got this. Let us get healthy together.